Hi you guys, uh, my name is Steve and I'm coming to you from Art For Everyone and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your little woodland fellow there with his own little bell as well. Um, there's enough plasticine in your pack there to make three little woodland folk. So, where are they? Can you see them all there? There we go. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, uh, I'll talk you through step by step how to make your own little woodland gnome or dwarf. So let's begin. So in your little pack here, you'll see you've got a pack of wires and basically it's uh, each row is one of these characters yeah there's more than enough in each in each uh, to make your character so let's go with uh we'll go for the on the left here and we're going to begin with the green so we've got actually we're not going to begin with the green <laughs> we're going to begin by making his boots so you'll find that um, in your pack, under the grey and the white, you'll find a dark brown or a light brown. And we're going to use, so you've got four tubes there. I'm going to use three of these tubes and I'm going to break off, basically break those into the three tubes there now. So I've got, oops, yeah. I've got three tubes and each boot, we're going to do his boots to begin with, is going to be one and a half of this brown. So I've got one and a half tubes in each hand here and I'm just going to squidge them up to um, begin. So all of this plasticine, it all needs uh, a bit of squidging up before you begin just to soften it up so if you've got someone a little bit older who could help you that could be good because that can help with the this bit of warming up the plaster scene basically you're just pressing it see to make a nice soft bit so we'll keep that other one tube there. We'll keep that just there in the pack for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make his little boots. So see there, you can see. Yeah. Okay. Now apologies for no Christmas music because I was a bit worried that the video might get taken down because I haven't got copyright for the Christmas song. So feel free to put on uh, some Christmas music to get in the Christmas uh, mood. I've got uh, a lemon and ginger here because um, I've had a bit of a cold, to be honest, but uh, should be okay for Christmas, hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, so we're gonna make the little boots, yeah? And to do that, I've, I've squidged it up now, it's nice and soft. And I'm just going to roll into a little kind of cylinder like this. See, between the fingers like this. And then I'm just going to kind of shape. Now, don't worry. You know, you don't have to do a boot shape. You can make whatever kind of shoe you want. You could do like more of the pixie kind of shape. Could be fun. Um, but today I'm going for a kind of boot. So just shaping. Take your time. There's no rush. See, I've kind of making it into like a little banana in a way. And once I'm kind of happy, I'm sort of happy with that now. See that? And I'll get the other one. Have you all got your Christmas tree up? Got our nice Christmas tree behind me here. Starting to feel Christmassy. Do, now I know some people don't open their packs till 
way after Christmas. So maybe Christmas has been and gone. I hope you had a good one. If it is, maybe you're doing this after Christmas as a little, little activity in between Christmas and New Year. But whenever you're making them, just enjoy it. That's the main thing, yeah? So I've got my little other little boot coming along here. Now the idea is to try and get them looking kind of similar kind of because we we don't tend to have odd shoes or boots they both look the same so you see here I've made a couple of little boots there now in your little bag you'll find in your box you've got wires in there you've got some little of the um, the bells for on his hat you can pour all that out keep it all together though you don't want anything going missing so you've got a tube of the white there as well and a tube of the black now you want there's one wire in there which is a bit um a different gauge to the others but that doesn't matter we're, we're going to start off with these kind of not the really thin wires like this we've got this slightly thick one yeah and what we're going to do we're going to put those into the boot yeah so you've got your boot there and i'm just going to put it into the top like that yeah do the same with the other one and let me just bring this let me just put the camera down slightly so you can see there we go that's better um so we're going to get our boots together like this give them a little tap down just to flatten the soles and then if you push this wire until it touches your tabletop there yeah so you've got two little wires in your boots there like that okay so we're going to build onto that now so the next thing we've got is we're going to go for the color now i've given you three squares which has got four tubes in each of um these colors for each for the for the trousers and for the top now i'm finding actually that for the trousers I'm just going to use two squares. Now you can use um, all three and it'll be slightly taller, but I think um, I'd like to make him a little bit shorter with shorter legs and then we do the top a bit bigger. So this is totally up to you. Um, basically you'll have a bit more extra um, color for doing something else. So we're going to begin with and yet as well you can use different combinations so this is two squares eight tubes all together of this kind of terracotta color and again we're just squashing it up i hope the camera's not shaking too much i think that's me leaning on the table okay just there we go so we're just um squishing this up and then what we're going to do, we're going to roll into a little sausage shape. Do, 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 do. Not too thin. I think that looks about right there like this. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to like this. And that's his two little legs there then. Now what we need to do is I'm just gonna I'm just molding the bottom of the trousers here so I'm happy with that so you've got two little legs there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully push the leg on to this first boot first now it doesn't matter it's come out the top there you see that doesn't matter because that will, will go into the um, the top anyway, so that's fine. We'll do the other one. 
they get so if you leave it on the table and push down yeah that one hasn't come out that's fine so you can see there standing up already uh, you've got your little legs there yeah coming together already as I say you could use um, you can use all three squares but I just I just think actually two is enough for um, for the legs so the second bit is for the top um, now I'm going to use the green and I'm using all three squares of this and first thing we need to do again is to squish and squash get it all softened up like so do um, please uh, on in the postcard you'll find in your little box it's got all my details of Instagram and Facebook so if you wanted to take some pictures of your little woodland folk and send them to me or tag me in a post that would be great I'd love to see what you've come up with so you can see here's the green now it's all softened up a bit of lemon okay so now what we're going to do with the to make the top Oh, he's just pulled his <laughs> pushing back on there. So we're making a top here, yeah. Now, if we roll again, this time we're going for a kind of barrel shape, yeah, like something like that, yeah. And then what I want to do, I want to make like a kind of hollow, so. Like this one that just came off see like this I'm gonna make a hollow around there so how I'm gonna I'm pressing my thumb up into there I'm pinching it around you see see like this and then that will go on top of your legs there so you can make it quite thin as you're pressing it around like a bell like a bell kind of and then for the arms as well though what I do at the top pinch like that then pinch top to bottom so I've got pinched on the side I'm pinching like that and I'm making so there's one kind of rough arm there do the same on the other side And we've got two arms like this, see? Now don't worry if it doesn't work straight away. You can squish it back up and, you know, try again. It's a good thing with plasticine. You, you know, you can just use it again and again. So... Now with the sleeves, I, I like them so kind of, um, see like the sleeves here, they're kind of long like that. So I'm just going to pinch the end a little bit just to make these kind of long sleeves. See like that. Do the other side as well. You could. Have, I've been um, taking my little people out to the local woods, taking some photos of them there. They look pretty good. So you've got the top here. You've got the legs, and we're just gonna pop it on like that, like this, and we'll just secure that, push it down a bit. And then I'm just going to press 
around as well so it's nice and secure like so so just pressing on like this So I've got okay now what you can do as well just straighten him up here tap 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 standing nicely that's good now one thing you might um, it's good to have some wet wipes handy just because with certain of the colors can sort of go on your fingers mine looking a little bit green that green's quite so just keep your fingers nice and clean and then you'll have the nice bright colors on your gnome or dwarf whatever you want to call him or woodland creature so yeah just keep your fingers nice and clean now with that bit of brown now we had four but we've got um this one tube left we could do a little belt with that so I'm gonna again just squish warm it up a bit this is just one tube and we're just going to once that's all that just get it all together and then we're just going to roll this do, 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 do. okay just rolling this into like a little snake like so so and then i just press along all along that just to flatten it this will be more than enough be a big belt this we won't need this size so pressing all the way along you see it's like the flat and then we'll just put that around his waist like so and press a little bit so you can see there's there's more than enough there so I'm just going to pinch off what I don't need just there more than enough and then a tiny bit of the black little tube you've got there in the packet in your in the bag just pinching off a little tiny bit like this I'm just going to make like a little buckle so if you make just like this and then if you make like a kind of a C shape like this see and then you can use one of the thin wires just to do the little holes in the belt I think I'll just break off a little bit you can see there I'm just gonna break off a little bit more as well because I don't think it needs to be that long so got a little belt there like this okay happy with that now we're gonna do it hands so you've got this flesh color in there um, you've got five tubes of this so I'm just actually going to use half a tube leave that bit down there and then this is nice and soft just squidge that like so so I've just got and then I'm just going to break it off but I'll break it into two so I've got two little bits there 
and how to do the hand like one slightly bigger just take a little bit off there it's all about adjusting you know there's no no exact things so, and you know don't worry so we've got two little tiny balls there and then what I'm going to do is roll it between my fingers like this so it's like a little kind of tic-tac shape and I'm just gonna hold it between my fingers like this see there and then press it which flattens it out and then pinch a little thumb out like that so you've got like a little mitten hand yeah now in your in the bag you've got these little thinner wires little small thin wires so you can put that into the sleeve push it up and Put your little hand on there. If you want, you can get more detail. Use one of the thin wires and just press in the fingers. It's like a bit of a mess there, but then you can just use, it's a little bit fiddly. Use your fingers then to bring So rather than having the mitten hand, you've got little fingers there. Like that. So once you're happy with that, you just... Put his hand on here. You have the thumb facing up. Yeah, that's how our hands are. So... And then you can kind of move them as well. He's got a little hand there. Same with the other side. Got a little ball there. So roll it into like a little tic-tac shape. Right there. Press. Those flat like that. And then on the side, just pinch out a little Thumb, like so, and then get little fingers one, two, three, coming along, and again, we'll put then the little wire into the sleeve leave a little bit out like that put on your hand push that in a little bit more put on the hand so we've got two little hands there he's got his belt he's got his trousers he's coming along nicely now I put in a little bit of red, some orange. You could use from the trousers there because you know I, I didn't use all three of the squares. But I'm just going to give, in fact, I've given these ones little collars. You can see they've got a little collar. I'm actually going to use a bigger bit. I'm going to use two tubes of this terracotta and I'm going to give him like a nice scarf so he's like cozy outside if he's if he does go down to the woods so like I say as well you could use a combination of these different combos so you know well, I've got the yellow and green and the green and, but yeah you can use whatever combo you want for your little people so again I'm just going to roll this out into a long snake here that should be not too thin about like that then press again to flatten it and then you know depending you could use a little wire make a little give some texture to scarf 
It's doing little lines on it. Do do do. So you can see there, it's got a nice long scar. So put that round. Face it to me, it's a bit easier seeing what I'm doing. And we'll just cross it over like that. Oh, no, just, here we go. There we go, that's nice. Nice scarf for the winter. Now we're going to get onto the head. So, oops, don't fall over. Let's put him there. So you've got four of the flesh colour here. Now I'm going to pinch it. Well, we've already got that little half from that arm, so that should be fine. But I'm just going to take another half of. So I've got three and a half tubes there. And let's give those a squash. Now this is where you can really get the character of your little gnomey character. What's he going to look like? So you can you can roll your the head into like a little ball if you want, or you can do it slightly. Maybe like an acorn. So just take your time there. Got a little head like this. Now I'm going to use these these little bits. So break off a little bit and make a little nose. Oh, this could be quite a big nose. Press that on. See like that. And then you can use your fingers just to blend it in, like so. See there? And then you can use one of the little wires again, just to do a couple of little nostrils. little nostrils detail there and then I'm going to make um, some eye sockets so with the thicker wire just go in and then you just wiggle like that to make a little hole like that do another one so we've got two little holes and then with this white that you've got in the bag we only need to break off a little bit See there on the end of my thumb there, and we we'll just give that a quick little squidge, and then we're going to try and make two equal little eyeballs. That looks good. A bit big actually. Don't even need that much. So I'll just take a little bit. Maybe one of these eyeballs will do two. So leave that little bit of white there. So I'm just rolling, rolling. And then pop that, oh yes, that's good. Into eye sockets there. Like that, can you see that? Yep. And then we use the black again, a tiny bit of black, really tiny bit this time. I'll just give like the pupil of the eye. Always think this is when they come alive once you put the eyes in. Another little tiny bit. That felt a little bit too much. I'm just going to break off a bit of that. And pop that on like this. He's got two little eyes. Now, he's got his, you know, his long beard. I've done different colours here, really. You've got the, the sort of darker grey beard, grey, or 
a fully white beard. I think I'll go for a fully white beard here. So you've got four halves, of two, and I reckon you'll probably only need, let me just check my fingers. If you've used a black, it's always good to clean your fingers up. So I'm gonna use two of this white here, and that should actually be plenty. So as I say, you've got, you'll have a few bit, you've got the gray there, which you could add into um, your beard. Make it look more like mine. See, when did that happen? <laughs> Grey beard. So we're just gonna get our little bit here and we're just gonna press, press it out. So it's nice and thin. See like this. Like a bit of chewing gum on the floor. And we're just going to, and then we'll just kind of hold it up against, oh yes, that's a big beard. Now, before I do, I'm just gonna pinch up at the top to a bit of a kind of moustache. The old handlebar moustache like this. So, and just fit that under his nose there. Oh yes, very good. Before I properly press it on, I'm just going to use a little wire here just to do texture again of the beard. Like so. Like I say, if you wanted to mix up grey and white, you'd have more of a grey bit. See, like this. Now, I'm just going to use, in fact, I'll put it on first. So, you just then put that under his nose, pressing on. Like this. <laughs> and then, once it's on, I'm going to use a wire to just make a little hole where his mouth is like that looking good and then I'm going to use another tiny bit of the white just to give him a couple of eyebrows so I just pinched off a little bit there and make a couple of little Little, um, little worms there to go above his eyebrows, above his eyes to make eyebrows. Another little roll here. It's surprising how much expression the eyebrows give actually. So yeah, it's worth doing some eyebrows. See there? It's looking quite Father Christmassy actually, isn't he? With the white beard. Now, with uh, one of these stronger wires, we put that into the middle of the shoulders there, push it down, so you've got like this, and then we'll put the head onto that. Oh yes, looking good. So of course, now, oh, something I did forget, we can give him ears if you want. So to make ears, use this flesh colour, only need a little bit, give it a press, just to squidge it up again, break, make two equal bits, just tiny little balls again, and then you just press them, which flattens it out. Just blend it in like that. See what, can you see that? Same with the other side. Press. Oops, getting a little bit fiddly now. A 
Now you can use the wire to make a little ear hole. Maybe just shape. There he is, got his ears there. Now, I've got this bit of white left to two halves it. I might just give him a little bit of hair, even though he's going to have his hat on, but I might just put some hair around. I'm just pressing this, see again. Press it on. Oops, just break a bit off here. That's it. So we've got a bit of hair at the back. And then I'm just going to use the thin wire just to again make the texture of the hair. A bit bald on top you can see can you see that so now in this one I've got blue uh, for the hat so four squares or four tubes to make one square and we're just going to squidge this do, 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 do. it's coming together And we just kind of make a cone. So I'm kind of pushing up. See, I'm shaping that little sort of triangle, pushing my fingers in a bit as well to make it concave there to go onto his head. Pressing a bit more now, see like this. We can sort of fix it up. Yeah, that's looking good. And then we can pick a bell. Now, um, I think I'll go for this purple. You've got all different colours. Now, to, to do the bell as well, you can use the thin wire, put that through the top of the bell there, and then bend it over. So it's got a bit more... See that, oops. And then we can just put that into the top of the hat. Press it in, nice and secure. So you've got like this. And then we'll just have a look at him. How are you doing, sir? Let's have a look. It's gonna go, oh, dude, don't fall over. Let's get him just straightened up a bit. That's why we've got these wires. Okay, I'm just gonna widen this out a bit more. So it fits snugly over his head. Oh, yes. So it's kind of covered his ears now anyway, but that's fine. And his hair at the back, but that's fine as well. So you can see there, uh, let's just shape this bell hat a bit more, a bit drooping down like that. Be waving to you. There he is. Um, he's got his bell, he's waving away. Now, as I say, take your time. I'm just gonna do a bit more texture in the beard. Please do share what you make. I'd love to see. The other combination, so the other ones you've got there, exactly the same process. Um, and mix them up, you know, you could, you don't have to have exactly the same colours. You could have, um, there's different combos you could do. Um, two squares for the trousers, three squares for the top, and uh, four squares for the hat. You've got your scarf, etc. Hope you enjoy it guys, um, can't wait to see what you create and um, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. All the very best, 
and see you soon uh, please subscribe to the channel it is new i'm going to be hopefully adding stuff um over time so yeah keep tuned and all the very best goodbye for now